playing people and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to play the song From the Dining Room Table by Harry Styles. I have it all written out. Look at all of that. Oh my god. Do you know how long that took me? It took me so long. Uh, but many of you guys have requested like how to play this song and I figured hey I can't find a tutorial online for how to play it. Even though I learned from one of those little like Cynthia videos because I, I can't figure that out by ear. Like my chords, I can figure out how to play by ear, but that, no, that, this is, look at that. That is, mm -mm. I watched one of those Cynthia videos and I put it in like 0.5 speed so that it was super, super slow and I just sat there for hours when I first learned how to play it and you guys saw my cover and you guys were like, hey, I want to learn how to play this too. And I said, okay, you guys will learn how to play this song. I love this song. This is my dog's absolute favorite song. He is hurt right now, but he still sings under the piano. He sits there, oh, ow, ow. Like he cries and sings with his like other little puppy friends, little dog chorus. It's so cute. But yeah, you guys wanted to learn how to play this song and I'm delivering. So let's learn how to play this song. And so yeah, you guys can show me your versions of it, your covers of it. And yeah, so please make sure to add me on Instagram wherever I decide to put it because iMovie, you know, doesn't like to have a lot of options. <laughs> so I just kind of deal with it. Might be down here. I don't know, we'll see when I edit it. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And Love you all. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to like and subscribe. So the time has finally come and we're actually going to be learning how to play From the Dining Room Table by Harry Styles, Fingering Edition. So for those of you who are kind of confused by the title, we're not going to be learning how to play a chord-based version of this song. So we're not going to be going, Woke up alone in this hotel room. We're actually going to be playing the melody with our fingers, just like this. So that's just a little bit of a clarification before we get started. So let's get started, you guys. So before we begin, I just want to let you guys know that the introduction and the first verse are played exactly the same way. So what I'm teaching you for the introduction applies to the first verse, and you guys will be able to hear that. Okay, you guys? So we're going to start, and what I like to do is when I'm learning how to play these types of songs, I do my left and my right hand together. That way they learn at the same time. So that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you guys, okay? So we're going to start with our the melody that goes, woke up alone in this hotel room, okay? That's what we're going to be starting on. So we're going to start on the fret that goes, woke up, uh, because I have everything divided, as you guys can see. So it goes, woke up, uh, right? So for our left hand, I'm going to show you guys what chord that is. So we're going to have our finger on B flat, E flat, and G, okay? And we're going to press those down together. Your left hand is always going to be playing something together. Your right hand is always going to be the one that's creating a melody. I have my right hand do it because that's my most dominant. So that's how I'm teaching you guys how to do it, okay? So left hand, B flat, E flat, G. Right hand is going to play... G, F, E flat. So you're creating kind of like a stair effect. Jump, 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 right? And together. So your G presses down with your left hand chord, and then F and E flat come afterwards, okay? Woke up. Uh, and now we're going to go to lone in this. So your left hand is going to stay exactly where it's at, right? So, and then from your E flat that you left off on, you're gonna jump back down to F, go back to E flat, so it's kind of like a bum, 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 and then your thumb is gonna hit the B flat. So, long in this. And together, we're gonna do that slowly, okay? So, woke up alone in this. See? Okay, so now your left hand is going to be changing, okay? The only thing that changes is your hand, well, your pinky is going to drop from B flat down to C. And you're going to play this chord. So C, E flat, G. And hotel. So you're going to go to C from B flat, you're going to drop down to C, 
tiptoe, and you're gonna go up to E flat once again. E flat is used a lot in this song for some reason. So, hotel, hotel. It's kind of sad. It sounds very, very sad. So, together, starting on woke, okay? For your G and B flat, E flat, G. Woke up alone in this drop hotel. An easy way to remember is when you go to C, your left hand is also going to go to C. Hotel. And once again, your pinky is going to go back up to B flat, and you're going to hit G where you started. So once your B flat moves in your pinky, you're just going to be tapping G in your right hand too. And you guys can kind of hear it, so slowly together, okay? B flat, E flat, G, G, okay? Woke up alone in this hotel room. And I'm going to show you guys my little chord chart right here. So, woke up alone in this hotel room. That is what we have done so far. If you guys can do that, I'm so proud of you. And now we're going to go to Played With Myself, Where Were You? Because this is where things get a little bit different. So now for the next part, we're actually going to be adding another chord into the left hand. So you guys know how we start on our B flat, E flat, and G, right? Well, all we're going to be doing is moving everything over by one, okay? And to the left. So it's going to be A flat, C flat, and F. So you're just kind of... So once you get off of that room, right, room, your left hand moves over immediately, and you're going to play G once again. Played with, so that's on F, E flat, F, E flat. So G, F, E flat, F, E flat. Played with myself where? Played with I know it sounds kind of like complicated, just G, F, E flat, a little staircase again. So exactly how we started, G, F, E flat, back down to F, up to E flat. And then were you. So we're going to switch back to the B flat, um, E flat, and G in our right hand. So we're just moving over. You can feel your hand naturally doing this as you start to get more fluent in playing this song. That's what I have noticed. So you go over to the B flat, E flat, and G in your left hand, and then you hit E flat twice. Where are you? So you're essentially gonna be hitting it three times. You're never gonna be leaving where you left off on the E flat for these two sections, okay? So slowly we're gonna do that together, okay? bad right you guys and now we're just going to be getting on to the next part so before we actually move on to the next part i just want to do a slow run through of that whole line okay so b flat e flat g in the left hand and starting on g in your right okay for woke woke up alone in this hotel room played with myself where See, that's not too bad. And now let's officially move to the next part of this song. So as I mentioned before, both the introduction and part one of this song are exactly the same. Well, so is part two for the fell back to sleep. You guys already know how to play that, but I'm going to go through it again just for more clarification and to show you guys which words come in for which part. Okay, so we're going to start on our fell back two, and that starts on in our left hand, B flat, E flat, and G, right? And our right hand is going to start on G, and it's going to do the little staircase again. So the G, F, E flat. Okay? Fell back to... Okay? And so our left hand is going to stay exactly where it's at, but our right hand is going to move again back to F, E flat, B flat. Sleep I got, sleep I got. Slowly, we're going to do both of those parts together. Don't move your left hand. Fell back to sleep I got. And now we're doing our drunk by. So drunk by 
our pinky is going to go from B flat down to C like I had done previously in the part one, okay? So our right hand is going to move from the B flat down to C, then up to E flat. So drunk by. Are you guys starting to hear it? So slowly together. Fell back to sleep. I got drunk by. And then back to original position. Noon for your left hand, B flat, E flat, G. And then noon is on G for your right hand. Noon. And then our chord that we had introduced before that is brand new to us. Our A flat, C flat, and F. And then G, F. So you guys remember that? G, F, E flat, F, E flat. Right? I've never felt less. You're just teeter-tottering back and forth. G, F, E flat, F, E flat. Little teeter-totter. And then cool is on E flat for your right hand, and then B flat, E flat, and G in your left. Cool. So slowly we're gonna do that whole part together, okay? I've never felt less cool. It's all coming together, you guys. Now we're gonna start with our introduction and then stop at part two, and then we're gonna get onto the next section of the song, okay? So starting on our B flat, E flat, and G in our left hand, and G on our right. So introduction. So that is how all of them sound together. I told you guys, it's just very, very repetitive. So now we're gonna get onto the next part of the song. So you guys are probably expecting me to tell you a brand new chord for the left hand. Well, actually no, it's the complete opposite of that. So for this teeny tiny little section of the song, we don't have a left hand at all. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Right here, you can see for the right hand, it is only gonna be playing G, A flat, B flat. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a little glance at the whole chord chart right here, just in case some of you are a little bit more visual and need something written down. And yeah, so our right hand goes G, A flat, B flat. And I'm gonna show you guys a little way that I like to play this song, okay? So G, A flat, B flat. And so for our left hand in the next part, cause that is we have not Right, so for the left hand, we're gonna actually be playing A flat, C flat, and F for spoke. So this is gonna come in when we play the word spoke. But what I like to do is I like to prepare it because we do end on the B flat, E flat, and G. And so we just kind of move over one and then I prepare it. We have that. And then for, for spoke, we're gonna hit C flat three times. One, two, three but I like to go up an octave. I don't like to play it right here because I'll show you guys, okay? It gets a little bit more complicated than I just don't like it, <laughs> okay? So it goes C flat, C flat, C flat, C, B flat. So you're kind of working your way to the right, okay? So slowly together, we're gonna play both of these. Spoke since you went up. And here's exactly why I play it like this. Because the next part for way, for way, like I went away. She like spoke since you went away, right? We're going to come back on our B flat again, right? So the most commonly used left hand chord in this song. And guess what? Our little friend in the right hand is going to be hitting G. So once we drop down from that B flat, we're going to go to G. Just makes it so easy. Look. Spoke since you went away. 
it's just like it's crawling. So we're gonna do it very, very slowly together, okay? From We Haven't. Three, two, and one. We haven't spoken since you went away. And then once again, comfortable. So no left hand, but we are gonna prepare it on our A flat, C flat, and F. Comfortable. And then silence. So we're gonna play our A flat, C flat, and F in the left hand. And then silence is over. It's that same way. C flat, C flat, C flat, C, B flat. Silence is over. And then this part gets a little bit more complex, right? So we're going to go back to our B flat, E flat, and G in our left hand. And we're going to hit G once again, right? Re, and then you go F, E flat. So you're going to like do your little crawl thing. Re, de, re, de. Right? Okay. So we're gonna do the silence, so comfortable. So starting on comfortable, ready? Comfortable, silence is overrated. Together, we're gonna do that whole part from we haven't. We haven't spoke since you went up. Just G. Again, no left hand. Why do you? G, A flat, B flat. Why do you? Again, A flat, C flat, and F. So, why do you never? So we're gonna play that, right? So that's gonna be C flat, C flat, C flat, C, B flat. Once again. And then say is on G, right? Say. Just like it was before in our B flat, E flat, and G. Say. We're gonna hit G once again, right? So G. And then we go up to A flat, over to B flat. And then we go back over to our A flat, C flat, F. And we're gonna hit our F in the right hand four times and then over to G. So. Phone. Phone misses your. Do you hear it? So, never say. That is where we're gonna, well, we're gonna start on why do you. Okay, ready? So, G, A flat, B flat. Why do you now say what you need to say? As you guys can see for say even my right so it kind of does a little circle so it goes G and then so you're going up and then you're gonna hit F so it's like a little circle even my phone misses so two more F's your and then we're gonna go back to our original position with B flat E flat and G in the left hand but we're gonna hit E flat instead of G in the right hand. Call. And then we're gonna be playing B flats. And we're gonna go back to E flat. By the way. So it goes B flat, C, E flat. It's really cool. So I'm going to show you guys that real quick, and then we're going to do that whole pre-chorus together, okay? Or chorus. Yeah, it's the chorus. Okay. So we're going to do that whole chorus together. Ready? So starting on our A flat, C flat, and F in the left hand, okay? But we're not playing it. <laughs> Ready? We haven't spoken. Uh, 
And then we go back to our original playing melody. And we go into our second verse. So you can kind of hear it. And so um, it's going to go. I saw your friend that you know from work. He said you feel just fine. You can hear it out just like you can in the original melody and for the part one and part two. So we're going to get on with our little you know our little bridge so in all honesty with you guys the bridge is actually the hardest part of the whole song this part actually took me the longest to learn and i'm still not even that good at playing it i just kind of do what i think sounds right so i have it all written down as i had mentioned before and i had shown you guys so i'm just going to be basing it off of this okay so, because when I play it, I don't use a chord chart. I just kind of memorize it, which is so weird. But here we go. So, when we start, we're going to start on original position for our left hand. B flat, E flat, and G. And you're going to play that down first. And the only two notes you're going to be hitting for maybe one day you'd call is B flat, G. And you're going to kind of teeter-totter between them. Maybe one day you'd call. And you do it three times. So you're going to hit down, left hand first, Maybe one day you'd call. and then you switch over to your A flat, C flat, and F, and then me, so, and tell me that you're sorry, and you kind of teeter-totter between it as well, ready? So, And then original position again. And then two. Ooh, that is on B flat and G. Two. And then you go over to your A. Because once you leave the B, you have a little bit of a round thing that you have to do in your left hand. I know I say like round, but like you kind of make a circle with the chords. So you, you leave off on the B flat. And you jump over to the A flat, right? So... And then we're going to jump up to a chord we have never played before in this whole song. I don't know why it's here. We've never played it before. So, so once you leave that B flat, E flat, and G, you're actually going to move your hand over to A flat, C flat, and F, right? So you're going to go from that B flat, bum, and then you're going to move your hand up. So your pinky is going to still stay on A flat, but you're going to drop down to C and then up to E flat. That is our new chord. So from here, you're gonna go bum, bum, and then you go over to your original left hand position. And this kind of just cycles around like two times before you get, okay, that makes no sense. Okay, so you're gonna do the cycle, bum, bum, and then maybe one day you'd call me, you do that once again, and then two, and then you do your dun, dun, dun. Right? So you're going to play both of those sets in the lower octave. And then for the last one, you're going to go up to the higher octave. Maybe, so maybe one day you'd call me. So you're going to play that one step higher. But I'm going to go through that whole position, so all of this part together, okay? So we're going to do two rounds of that, okay? Starting in left-hand original position. And then you move just your right hand up an octave, okay? Right? If you guys are gonna go up, like up an octave and you have animals, please be aware they might start singing because that is what all my animals do is they just start singing whenever it goes higher pitched. So, but you, you never do, right? So this is where you're actually going to be playing it in the higher octave. 
So, so once you get back from the last instrumental part that you guys do, so your little from here to right, you're gonna go in your right hand, G, A flat, B flat, G, and that is gonna be on your A flat, C, and E flat, Original left hand position and then E flat. Slowly. So while you're up in the higher part of the piano, you're supposed to go back to your original melody. Cause woke up the girl who looked just like you. Right? So. And then the song ends. So that is how you play From the Dining Room Table by Harry Styles. I'm so sorry if this piano tutorial was so confusing. This is my first time ever making one of these. I am so not used to doing things note by note. Oh my gosh. This was so hard for me to make. It took me literally a couple days. And then my editor broke on me. Oh, that is so irritating. So we're gonna do our slow run through where everything is gonna be super, super slow and word by word, and I hope you guys enjoy. So here is my slow run through of From the Dining Room Table by Harry Styles Melody Edition, or whatever you guys wanna call it. So let's get started. Original position in your left and G in your right.
So that is How You Play From the Dining Room Table by Harry Styles. Everyone plays it a little bit differently. I want to let you guys know not to get discouraged if the bridge was the hardest part for you because it definitely was for me. And there's ways to simplify it. If you guys have any tips, please leave them in the comment section down below for others who may be struggling with that part as well. And yeah, so other than that, I really hope that you guys enjoy. I hope this is everything you asked for. I would be really upset if it wasn't, but I'm gonna leave my chord chart, the chord chart picture in my community tab. So if you guys wanna go get a look at that, feel more than free, feel more than welcome. And bye everyone. I love you. Have a wonderful rest of your day or night. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment in the comment section down below. Bye everyone.